This is in, invested innovation. This is forced innovation. I use the ping pong paddle as an example. We were talking at dinner last night about how startups claim to be more innovative when they put a ping pong table in their lobby or in their conference room or whatever. There's nothing wrong with synthetic innovation. And I, I argue it's, it's the easiest form of innovation. The problem is I don't think synthetic innovation, investing in synthetic innovation gets you to a sustainable condition. In order to get to a place where the organization, whether it's a country, a city, a company, is actually fundamentally innovative, capable of increasing the chances of innovation success, you've got to do this. You've got to go after organic innovation, which is less focused on structures and more focused on people. People as customers, people as citizens, people as employees, people. And specifically, the behavior of the people. Here's the deal. How many people in this room? 400, roughly? Let's imagine we're a country or a company. And our goal is to be more innovative, right? To go up the rankings, to beat the next guy, to improve the economic health of the organization. The only way we are more innovative is to behave innovatively. Innovation is not a function, it's a behavior. And behaviors are the root capacity of humanity. So if we want the outcome to be more innovative, we ourselves need to be more innovative.